please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Sure thing. Let's dive into importing files in Python. Python, a versatile and powerful programming language, allows you to work with files effortlessly. Whether you need to read data from a text file, import a module from another Python script, or handle more complex file formats, Python has got you covered. In this tutorial, we'll explore the basics of importing files in Python with code examples. The open function is your gateway to reading files in Python. It takes two arguments, the file path and the mode, are for read. Let's take a look at a simple example. Make sure to replace sample.txt with the actual path of your text file. To read a file line by line, you can use a loop. Python allows you to organize your code into modules. To import a module from another Python script, follow these steps. Create a Python script, example my underscore module.py, with some functions or variables. Now, you can import this module in another script. Python supports various libraries for working with different file formats. For example, to work with JSON files. Replace data.json with the path to your JSON file. Python's file handling capabilities make it a fantastic choice for working with data in various formats. Whether you're dealing with text files, importing modules, or working with complex file formats, Python's simplicity and flexibility make it a joy to work with. This tutorial provides a solid foundation, but there's much more to explore. As you continue your Python journey, you'll discover even more powerful ways to handle files and data. Happy coding! ChatGPT Python provides a straightforward way to import files and modules, making it easy to organize and reuse code. In this tutorial, we will explore various ways to import files in Python, covering both built-in modules and custom files. Importing built-in modules. Importing custom files. The import statement is used to bring an entire module into the current namespace. Here's an example using the math module. In this example, we import the entire math module and use the sqrt function to calculate the square root of 25. The from import statement allows you to import specific functions or variables from a module, making them available without using the module name as a prefix. Here, we import only the sqrt function from the math module, making the code more concise. When working with multiple files within the same project, you can use relative imports to import modules from the same package or directory. Consider a project structure like this. In main underscore program.py, you can import calculations.py using a relative import. And in calculations.py, absolute imports are used when importing modules from different directories or packages. To achieve this, make sure your project is structured as a package, with underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py files. Consider a project structure like this. In main underscore program dot py, you can use an absolute import. And in calculations dot py, importing files in Python is a crucial aspect of organizing and reusing code. Whether you are working with built-in modules or custom files, understanding the various import statements and strategies will help you write more modular and maintainable code. ChatGPT